Well, hey there, folks, and uh, welcome back, I guess, to another episode. And uh, no, we're not cleaning out our cabinet today. We're making we're making uh, meatloaf. We're going to be doing this two ways. Normally on this show, we would we would just make the meatloaf and you know, and then turn that into sausage. We're still going to do that, but we're also going to try the ingredients raw inside of the sausage. Well, all right, so it's it's the meatloaf two ways sausage. First, we gotta mix the ingredients. Ground beef, pork, one cup dried breadcrumbs, half a cup of diced yellow onion, half a cup of milk, one beaten egg, a tablespoon of Worcestershire, tablespoon of parsley flakes, three fourths tablespoon salt, tablespoon of garlic powder, black pepper, then, of course, when you realize stirring with your favorite stirring device doesn't work, first you, you take off, uh, you take off, you know, the, the ring. And then, and then you, then you just go in. Let the rhythm take you over by the most. There's our, there's our one meatloaf sausage. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules and so do I. Wait, ke ketchup was supposed to go into this. We, we gotta mix it in. We're gonna call that two teaspoons. Some, some people say that it's, it's the ketchup that's the best part of the uh, experience of eating the meatloaf. Half a cup of ketchup, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. This this is your world. You can you can paint it however you want. Let's meatloaf. All right, there's our loaf of meat, and uh, between you and me, I it, I don't think it could look uh, any more loafier. That's a classic, your mom's meatloaf right there. All right, uh, I, I, I say it's time we sausage this bad boy. You know, this really doesn't look uh, uh, much different than when it went in. Chew down. Never gonna run around can hurt you. <coughs> I, I I feel like this is entirely way too much. In three, two, one. Let's sausage. Oh, that wasn't too bad. This is my city. I decide who gets to sausage around these parts. It's like the big spoon and the little spoon. Really, it's a love story. A sausage love story. Come to my sausage. Well, the, the way I picked this up was not very sausage-like, and it, 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 it burst. The plus side is you, you got plenty of room for error. Uh, th uh, this one is a little bit uh, mushier than uh, th this one. This one doesn't, it, it's a little bit firmer. All right, uh, we'll, we'll start with uh, uh, the, uh, this one. I think now's a good time to be using ketchup. Now, now we'll give this one a try as well. We'll try the end that's uh, so we'll get a good crunch. Not so much a good crunch, and as you can see, it continues to just split apart. The clear winner is this one. I mean, I, I, it's, it's the most like a sausage. The breadcrumbs do make it a little bit more soft than, than a normal sausage. This one lost all of its flavor. This is like eating, uh, the, the bread has more flavor than any of the meat inside of here. This sucks. This one, however, is great. I don't think it's surprisingly good. I mean, it's it's got everything you need for a delicious sausage. This one is getting a zero. But this one, however, is getting a four out of five. Bop, 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 bop.